traffic together, and it is just 15 degrees out there this morning. Cold enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Taking a little bit of extra time to get the car warmed up for sure this morning. You know, today is going to be the coldest day of the work mm. week. We hit into the 30s last two days. Today, I don't ever expect us to make it out of the 20s for highs. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Still quiet, though. You know, storm-free conditions continue next several days. But another shot of cold air moved in overnight and for today. And that will keep our temperatures running almost 15 degrees below normal. Does look dry for Santa, easy flying through southern New England this year. And a weekend storm, still in the cards, and it's still looking like a little bit of a mixed bag, likely starting with a wintry mix of possibly sleet and freezing rain before changing over to rain. Live city cam pictures, sun just starting to try to creep over the horizon. The actual sunrise time isn't until 11 minutes past 7. But city cam out there right now showing already clear skies. It's 15 degrees, the temperature, wind chill of about 8, and a west wind at about 5 miles per hour. So temperatures running generally in the teens. I kept saying all morning, I'm not so sure about this taunt in temperature. It's more likely the wind chill with uh, wind chills most spots in the single digits, even below zero the wind chill right now in Worcester and westerly it feels like 16. Here's what our weather spotters have today to say. Jim and North Smithfield breezy, dry, so still a little bit of black ice and that's going to be the deal again this morning. Jerry Wynn Warren says watch the sidewalks for the little ones trying to walk to the bus stop at 16. And for rain, Tina and Batak at 13 degrees cold calm and clear. And those clear skies will eventually give way to extra clouds today. They're sitting up to our north right now. Even a few snow showers over northern New England and Maine. This weak disturbance will rotate through. It'll bring the extra clouds. As far as flurries, there's a slight risk of seeing one over eastern Massachusetts, but for the most part today is going to be a dry day. Just lots of clouds around this afternoon, and that'll add to the chilly feel. High pressure is what's keeping us storm free other than that little weak front moving through. The next big storm on the horizon is still in the deep south and just heading into the eastern Rockies. That system is going to be a slow mover working its way up across the country. It's going to bring a surge of milder air with it, and you can see that south and west of us while we're still in the chill right now over the northeast. Uh, so the, with the mild air will come likely that change over to rain. But watching the track of that system, because there's enough cold air around with the snow, it'll take a little bit longer than usual for that warm air to win out with that system this weekend. As far as today, though, your future cast at 8 o'clock this morning, showing the sunshine, and then watch as the clouds fill in by early afternoon. So it turns mostly cloudy for the second half of the day. Again, a couple of flurries possible over eastern Massachusetts. And our computer models trying to show some of those flurries backing in later tonight into tomorrow morning over possibly Plymouth and even possibly as far west as New Bedford and Fall River. This computer model shows it over Rhode Island. I think we're dry. Just lots of clouds around for especially tomorrow morning. For this afternoon, cold, clear, dry, 15 to 22. Uh, this afternoon turning mainly cloudy, very chilly, 22 to 27. I mean, the normal high is 40. We just haven't seen it any time over the last week and a half. We are going to get back closer to 40 by tomorrow, though, so hang in there. 25 in Charlestown, Hope Valley also only in the middle 20s. Lower to mid-20s, northern suburbs, and we stay in the chill, brisk winds, wind chills in the teens this afternoon. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Going to flurry possible eastern Massachusetts. Your Thursday for Christmas Eve does look dry for Santa. Clouds, maybe a little bit of a peak of afternoon sun. And similar for Christmas Day, clouds, peak of sun from time to time, dry and cool but not cold 40 for a temperature wintry mix on saturday changing to rain i may hold on to some freezing rain or sleep for a while longer inland areas rhode island and massachusetts and then rain will linger into at least sunday morning with very chilly air returning by